All right, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes, and we are discussing what is your favorite sci-fi TV show. Let's get into it. All right, welcome, Ged. Good to be back. All right, welcome, Ged. <laughs> back to the show. Um, Thanks. Now, now, now you realize the eight people that watch these probably realize that we're not changing. So, yes, yeah. it's, it's true. The secret is out. We will sit here and do three or four of these because on a Tuesday night, there is nothing better we have to do. Absolutely. And, you know, it's great multitasking, time management, knock them all out. All right, Ged, we are going to talk about what our favorite or arguably the best sci-fi TV there is to watch for viewers at home. Doesn't have to be Star Wars. Doesn't have to be Star Wars. It it could be Star Wars. Mm. Yeah. So... Given this is a Star Wars show, let me start us off, and I'm going to tell you the best TIE Fighter, the best... Uh, 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 Was that like a giveaway? The best TIE Fighter show I've ever watched is... The best sci-fi show, fantasy, whatever you want to call it, ever made, simply put, is Ronald Moore's Battlestar Galactica. And now, let me tell you why. It is four seasons of absolute brilliant television. It kind of, the effects still kind of hold up today, but it is, it, it, it takes place in a time kind of after 9-11 with kind of the drama that was going on in the world, you know, in that time period. And it weaves those kind of storylines all throughout the TV show. It's very current to what, even though it's set in space, to what real life drama on earth is kind of about. It is, when I always, when I first started watching Game of Thrones, I thought back to Battlestar on kind of some of that dark um, storylines, you know, characters dying, like so surprisingly, it was edgy, it had great effects, it had awesome performances. It was the first TV show that I legit ever binged. I remember being university and I picked up Battlestar when it was in its second season was airing on TV. I picked up the first season from Blockbuster Video and I brought that sucker home and I binged the shit out of it. And Hmm. from that moment on, I was hooked. And then I, every Friday night on Sci-Fi Channel, caught the new episode. And then I eventually got buddies into it. I got my family into it. And by the time the fourth season rolled around, it was an event to, you know, get ready. Friday night was the new BSG episode. Loved it. And I would say for anyone out there who has never seen Ballastar Galactica or given it a chance, please do so. You are missing out on top-notch TV. You know what? I will, uh, I will, I will give you that. So you hounded me for, God, I would say five or six years to watch it. Okay. Do it. Mm-hmm. Do it. Do it. And I just watched it finished it maybe this january february that just passed and i agree it is it is fantastic and the ending absolutely threw me for a loop obviously not going to talk about it yeah i will i will give credit where credit is due that is that it was a fantastic show um my number one sci-fi tv show is firefly ah canceled unfortunately after the first season it was fun. It was adventurous. I love the character development. Obviously, was finished off by the movie Serenity. Um, it's not as much of a commitment as watching Battlestar Galactica, although if you haven't one seen season. it, obviously you should. It is one season. And then a really cool movie at the end. Summer Glau has been featured in Big yes. Bang Theory. She was in the Sarah Connor Chronicles. And she is just the coolest, creepiest, most mysterious character. Nathan Fillion is an absolute rock star for that entire season. I mean, it, he's basically Han Solo. He's basically, <laughs> he's basically Han Solo. Yeah. 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 Without a doubt, Firefly, my jam. Uh, Any chirps? Any rebuttal? I, yeah, I love Firefly. I didn't, I didn't really realize you had watched it and was a Firefly fan. Let, well, let me ask. We don't talk about this before we get yeah. on. Let me ask you this. Did I you, knew. Did you, I knew. Yeah. I knew what yours was, though. There's yeah. no doubt. Yeah. Did you watch the movie first or the TV show first? I watched the movie years ago, and in ignorance, had no idea there was a TV show. 
I only it. watched the TV show maybe a couple years ago and then went back and rewatched the movie okay. after. Yeah, because I saw... It's so cool. Yeah, was, I saw the movie in theaters because I was like, oh, man, a new space show. Got to watch it, right? Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, it's so <laughs> Another sweet. Another spaceship movie? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is actually based on a TV show. And then, yeah, I went back and did, did the binge. Here, here's the thing. It doesn't have the depth of Battlestar Galactica. You don't get into the politics and the darkness and the decisions and the effects that those decisions have. Yeah. I mean, Battlestar Galactica is a far deeper TV show, but for yeah. one season of absolute awesomeness. Don't know these folks don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. It is yeah. so tough to be Firefly. Hell, you can go back and watch it once a year. It's going to take yeah. you a week. See, I want... So don't binge yeah. it. Yeah. I did want to talk about, in the future with you, of the best cancelled TV shows, and Firefly was oh, easily going to be that would, that, yeah, yeah, that, that would be that would be a no-brainer. I mean, yeah. if you had any sort of deal, this might be my favorite of cancelled TV shows, but... Um... Yeah. yeah, no, man, fantastic show, and exactly, yeah. to people at home, if you have never watched that Firefly, or season one of Firefly or Serenity, go do it. It's also done by Joss Whedon, who, you know, right. obviously came into Marvel Avengers fame, so... Mm -hmm. you know very well done and and the it, cast i keep yeah. forgetting the the name of the pilot oh he's um a bunch of stuff and he's just yeah uh alan funny. tudak right he was kate yeah. so in rogue one did you know that wasn't me one awesome like, yeah. yes so good yes so and good. everybody loves nathan fillion like it's everybody. impossible to not love him. Yeah. I mean, he's in that stupid new cop show called The Rookie. I, I, I don't watch it, but I'm sure yeah, if yeah, I watch yeah. it, I mean, it's impossible to not like him. Yeah, 100%. Wasn't he that uh, that that Buffy sidekick guy, too, for many, many years? Oh, he might have been. He was also in... He's been in Marvel. He played yeah. like a prisoner in the first he, Guardians. He was the uh, he was the guy who got Groot's yeah. uh, fingers up his yeah, nose. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. going to lather you up. <laughs> I'm going to slather you up in Navi and Jilly. <laughs> Go to town. And he's in, because um, he he's been following James Gunn around, right? He's in uh, the new Suicide Squad movie. Yes. They just that, announced. Yeah. That is correct. Nice. Good. I like this. I didn't, I didn't even have to make funny for your choice again, though. I obviously knew what it was going to be because you've been yeah. harassing me to watch it for half a decade. I know. But man, like just like not to get off the tangent on Ballastar, but like just like some of the stuff they go through, like when uh, the civilian ships like on cruise control towards Galactica and like no one's on the comms and they have to figure out, you know, is it taken over? Like what's going on? And they are forced to shoot it down and they never ever really know yep. if they murdered everybody or not. So like there's so many every every season has two or three moments that really that really do make you think and the adventures of, of, of Starbuck who Kate Sackov is going to be in the next uh, in the next couple of seasons of Mandalorian as Bo-Katan who did the voice for Bo-Katan in mm. Clone Wars if I'm not mistaken and Rebels and, and Rebels I mean she is an absolute stud ass that one she's just so awesome she's so badass she's just a wicked wicked character yeah, here's hoping she gets a fairly decent role in the Mandalorian. Right? It's not a like a two minute flashback. Yeah, no, no, no. I hope that she will be her and Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano. Hopefully, there will be they will be a mainstay because I mean that's an absolute absolute home run for Favreau. Yeah. All right, so that wraps up this episode. If you want to find Ged, you know where to find me. It's click somewhere it's up there. Kind of kind of wait hold on let me get away yeah. from the screen thing yet yeah, right in that general area there yeah again i've been away a little bit with uh work stuff but uh we'll be kicking back up the fabulous flicks uh and yeah and if you love Battlestar or firefly hop in the comments and if there is a show out there that you feel is the best let us know mm -hmm. I, would not. I would definitely like to hear the comments though yeah yeah for sure if we get enough we should even discuss a couple of the ones that are mentioned multiple times yeah I'd love to get into maybe some of the Stargates, but anyways. Yeah. Well. All right. That wraps it up. Fun. Right. We're, we're, we're not going to do a wardrobe change for the next one, are, are we? We're just no. going to stay like this? Okay. No. Right. Maybe another beer. All right.